Hey everyone, this video is going to be a little bit different. Obviously, I'm sitting in my living room and not downstairs with the arcade machines and my collection of games. Most of you know that the NES Classic has been hacked and allowing more games on it than what it originally shipped with. Up until this week, you were able to have 97 games on the NES Classic. That changed yesterday with the update of the tool Hakchi. Um, which is version 2.11. There's a folder structure that's introduced now with that app and what that does is minimizes the amount of memory that's being used by the NES when it boots. So previously you had 97 games, the system would load, you'd have those nice box arts for everything across the bottom, scroll through, everything was right there on the main page. And when you loaded that 98th game, the system would throw an error and that was kind of the cap. We, we weren't able to go beyond that. So uh, with the update to the tool, what it does is put games into a folder structure so that all of those games aren't on the main page at once. And you'll see when we load up the classic here that um, I have a, a, a series of folders across the bottom. All the games are alphabetized in those folders. And essentially what that allowed me to do was to put Oh, I think uh, 709, 710 uh, ROMs onto the device. So it's all but a full complete US set of NES ROMs. So I have a few Japanese games on there. There are a few games that still don't have mappers on the device and those had to be taken off. Um, I eliminated a few other things like Sesame Street and Fisher Price games that uh, I just, I'm never gonna play. 700 seems like a lot, it is. Um, probably never play all of the games that are on there, but in the event that I'm ever wondering, do I have that game? Can I play that on the Classic? I do, I can boot it up and I know it's there. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit of the file structure uh, and the device. This will be a really short video and you guys can kind of do your Googling and update your devices at will. All right, now if you take a look, you'll see the folder structure I was talking about across the bottom. Each of those folders holds 30 different games. That's adjustable on the tool. And we scroll through, you can see across the top, everything is alphabetized, starting with the first game in the folder through the last. It's pretty extensive. There is box art for all of the games. There's a nice feature on, uh, on the tool that allows you to just grab box art for all, so you don't need to go game by game. And you can see we, we pretty much got every every game on here black box games Goonies 2 the light gun games are a bit questionable I don't really have uh, a solution for playing those at this point on the on the mini classic you can of course um, go downstairs but aside from that all these games run really well you know it can just jump in uh, take a look at Gunsmoke it boots right up no lag it's uh, it's pretty seamless. Everything works really well. Adding games, it'll tell you if a game needs patched or not. Uh, what comes to mind is Robocop, Battletoads, and I, I think there was one more that uh, that had an error and, and needed patched. And, and that's great that it's it's integrated right into right into the software when you're when you're doing the hack. Another cool thing that was present with the hack before and is still present is pressing down and select on the controller will take you back to the main menu which is is pretty great you don't have to wait for uh, I should say we don't have to get up and and push reset if you have to go back to this folder which is the back and then it takes you to the main page where, where we have all the other folders at all right, so every time you jump back to the main menu, it's gonna start you alphabetically. So here I'm, I'm with my, my numbers up through A. So I'm just gonna scroll through and, and show you um, if I go into any, any random game here. Let's just pick uh, elevator action. So boots up nicely, looks good. It looks good for what it is, we should say. So um, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna play too much here. I'm gonna actually push down and select, and take me back to the main menu. And you see in the bottom left there, I've got 
my save states. So I've got four slots, I can use all of those. Um, works the same for, for the rest of the games that are on here. It's, it's really pretty great. Now here's DuckTales. You can kind of see everything just boots right up. It's clean, looks really good, really sharp. So no different really than any of the other videos you may have seen in the past where people have put ROMs on here. Really, this is just a, an exercise to, to show you that full ROM sets are, are pretty much a, a reality at this point and really makes this device that much more uh, of a must have. Having first party hardware that runs NES games with an HDMI out, um, I just can't tell you how happy that makes me. All right, I'm gonna jump into this folder. You can see in here, I've added the, the new Ghostbusters. New Ghostbusters 2. That's a, a Famicom game, as most of you know. But that boots up and plays well. I had some trouble with some other Famicom games. I was trying to put on some Famicom exclusive titles and I was getting mapper errors that the, the games weren't supported. So that's a, that's a bit of a bummer, but the majority of the NES, US NES ROMs work, so can't be too disappointed. And while everything just looks great, it's just really a, a fantastic video output. The quality's great. There's still some flicker, um, which is present on the obviously on the original games and just kind of is what it is, but in fact, in some ways, uh, from a, um, a purist standpoint, you, you may actually appreciate that and, and want that. Down and select, back to the main screen. Find my folder to take me back to the main menu. And uh, always start off numerically uh, first. And, and yeah, these are all the folders. Um, this is, uh, this is a f almost all but a full ROM collection. So pretty great stuff.